Hey guys, welcome to part zero of the new staff run I'll do. First of all, let's just show my character creation uh, sheet. So in terms of items I've picked the 9 times you find build, they are always handy. The CIB token is most likely going to be my endgame accessory. The fishing alone in Cold River manual, since it's really good if you can combine it with another manual, which we'll get to later, but that's my goal for like the mid-game. And then I had 3 items left over, so I took some gift items and MP recovery. And ignore this up here, this is a mod, I still got to disable it before I get to the event in the forest as well. But Clouds Part and Shine, Martial Supremacy, Reincarnated Monk, Replenish, Chin Blood, Long Wanderer, Loner, Learn from Everyone, Mighty Thunder, Effective Learner, Top Achiever, Regenerative, Regenerative Body, Seal Immunity, Internal Injury Immunity, Rapid Response Like a Rabbit, Long Weapon Talent, Buddha Heart Hardened, like the 6 Blue Raids. Long Mastery and Quick Reflexes. A total of 445 points. The thing is though, in case you don't have that many points, after I had 75 points left, I myself did not know what to do. Which is... the setup. Because we are going like a full strength build, so fights are not going to be that long as such. You won't really be inflicted with internal injury uh, as such need internal injury immunity. Then we don't need the replenished chin blood that much. Late game we're going to have 22 constitution initially and then you do the side -y poison testing so you're down at 12 and with 12 constitution it's not all too great. Then region body uh, I don't even know why I'm taking it, but I guess gotta spend them somewhere and then long weapon talent and long mastery since we're playing staff and something something yes. Uh, otherwise you could obviously take some trades down here. Interesting points I suppose would be like wholesome or optimistic, some quality of life. And then we'll also talk about the available points. As you can see I have 9 points left because I did not put a single point into intelligence. Reason being is if I went all in in intelligence I have 29. The most I could lower my intelligence by in game is 15 which is minus 12 essentially from Buddha Heart because I currently get plus 2 and if I have a full party of 5 I get an another minus 10 so that's a difference of 12 would put me at 17, then we use the antidote, would put me at 15, and then we get injured as well, so we're at 14, which is too high to get the enlightenment bonus point. As such, I simply lower it all the way, you could probably do the math as well, minus 15, so we could have it at 24, but let's not bother with that. And the idea is, of course, to get that one extra bonus point from the Shifa leader from Enlightenment. And that should be it. And then regarding the name, I had some name, now I gotta think again. But, uh, there you go. Heroic Revon started, yes. In the year of and skip. So here we are. You can see my character thing. I did get daily income as well. It's really nice quality of life. It's just some money. And last run I did, it was amazing. Right, we could also disguise ourselves, but who cares? We have the new amazing portraits. Uh, but let's not do the story we actually wanted as it's part zero. Talk about my goals and everything, the rule set. The one rule I will enforce in this playthrough is no homestead transfers once more. It was really fun last run to actually have to work for your manuals. 
downside obviously with it is I cannot get deviation form which is of course the best internal manual there is we cannot obtain it and as such I need to use tyrant blade technique for the attack and to get tyrant blade technique I need to do the whole desert quest line that's easily like an hour of effort but well gotta do it and then let's go through them one by one, like what's my endgame weapon and so on. Endgame weapon, we're playing Staff, Julian. It's 660 and 300 attack, really solid. You gain 35% crit damage and 30% final damage, like really good. And since it's crit damage, we have to guarantee that we crit. The cool thing is about this weapon, it actually offers 16% crit chance. If you look at Xuan Yun, which you normally use, you get 16% combo chance, which is not really good since we have Way of Nature. And this offers us crit really, really nice. And you can obtain the weapon simply by crafting, and the recipe is obtained from eliminating the Tomb Raider sect and then going to the back, treasury. And that's going to be my endgame weapon. 100 long, 10 strength, that's easy to fulfill. The other staves we can also look at, there's like Ding Hai Shen Jun, which is 600 and 250 attack with 15% increased attack, like that's decent damage. It does not have the final or crit damage multiplier though, and it lowers your action speed, so forget it already. Then the 9 ring tin staff. 600 and 300 attack but no other real modifier we do not really care about the internal injury since enemies take 60 percent less so it will at most inflict eight internal injury not that amazing the vulnerable status is like guarantees that you crit but i'd rather get something with crit damage and then there's also the Beast Manor staff, which 600-300 attack is fine, then 40% crit damage, but sadly no final damage. If Julian did not exist, we'd definitely take Mountain Suppressor, but yeah. Welcome to Julian. Uh, armor, well we're playing at 2560, so armor possibilities don't really exist outside of like a few select ones which is silk armor for simply HP and I think that's it or white sleeve uh, like the skirt fairy skirt for action speed and HP once more it's craftable you'd need to find the five orbs for the recipe which is relatively simple and then simply get the uh, materials from your auction and there you have it now accessories, I am still uncertain what I'm going to be doing in the late game. I doubt it's going to be the Imperial Seal. Yes, it does offer 10% attack, 10% uh, defense and guaranteed crit, but we can probably reach 80 or 90% crit chance nonetheless. The other options include the CIB starting token we took at character start or a true animal ring. And that's one of the things I will perhaps go for, like just for the funsies, is collect all the animal rings. I was meaning to do a video of where you can obtain like each ring, never got around to doing it so Maybe we can do it in a playthrough, collecting all of them. And then once you collect all of the normal animal rings, which are the ones down here somewhere, there you go. You can trade for these different ones. The interesting options would be either the mouse ring for action speed and dex, the tiger ring for strength and attack. We could get 60 strength with this. And 6 is a cool number, let's be honest. Dragon for just final damage and final damage reduction, and that's it. 
than unparalleled martial arts. Yes, uh, we're mostly looking at these five the staff ones. Dragon or Sky Dragon wind staff 200% damage, Polaris staff 160, this one nothing, Dharma staff 180, and nothing the staff 200. It's just if you look at where you can obtain nothingness staff, it's in the southeast region. To get to the southeast region, you first need to have completed the Beast Manor questline. And then do that whole chain of events, then do the Duke Choi questline in the southeast. Whew, that's, that's a lot of effort to get. Same thing with the Sky Dragon Wind staff, which is the other 200%. Manual, it's in the northeast region with this random Yanjin region. That's a lot of dialogue. I guess if you just skip the dialogue, it could be pretty fast. You obviously have to do this one interrogation mission, which no one likes, but we can definitely do that and then just get this. Obviously, the downside is this manual scales with dex, this one scales with strength, so nothing as stuff is better since at most we'll get like. I think we get exactly 16 dexterity, and some enemies have like 9 or so, so we do not get maximum damage from scattering wind stuff. Maybe late game we'll check that out as well. Then Polaris Wyvern is too bad. Dharma staff can be obtained from the Shiva Temple if you have, I think, 500 Buddhist comprehension and then 60 or like 100 long stats. Long stat is easy. The question is, do we want to obtain it like early game? If so, we'd need to steal the scriptures, which is a possibility, that's for certain. Or do we only want to get it once we join the year? Um, Shuffle sect. Like that's going to be late game if we do it like that. And then Polaris stuff, Polaris stuff we can obtain really early on. We just buy it from the old man. Like we join the old man anyway. So we just do some side quests like the Shu a hero competition meeting, whatever. We can do the one in Daliang. And you can then easily, like I think even with those two things, maybe annihilating the band camp, subduing the red boy, you can obtain more than enough. Sec contribution. Obviously we're playing with DLC too, so you can combine it with other manuals. It is what it is, we're taking Spring and Autumn Fan as the secondary manual, it's insane damage. And if I like imagine combining nothingness stuff with lovely, lovely spring and autumn fan, that will destroy the enemies. And hard or inner manuals, as I mentioned, I cannot get deviation form. It would be the preferred setup, but yeah, gotta skip it. We are going for Confucius Sutras or 13 Sutras. It's simply too good. Like the enemy cannot parry, which, and like in case you did not know, a parry actually prevents a crit. So by always preventing parry, you are more likely to crit in that sense. Then you cannot be crit, and you have guaranteed accuracy. Too insane. And as for the combo, and I well, I gotta mention it. If we actually go for nothingness stuff as our main attack or like main thing I need a yin manual and Confucius is yin whereas tyrant blade technique is yang so I cannot do a combination of these two if I want that effect so I will either go for omnipotent dealing and sealing move as like a secondary effect because it increases the damage you do when critting increases your own uh, or rather Increases the damage you do when critting, reduces the enemy's defense, so you deal more damage, and reduces their attack, action speed, but we don't care, we care about the offensive effects. Or the Arc Demon Soul Leading skill, which are nice recovery and all. 
and then you just combine like Confucius Sutra's omnipotent demon sealing move as your first and active internal manual and then do four combinations of tyrant blade technique with something for 750 attack each. And I think that's so far from my equipment and manual setup. Then what are we doing exactly in this run? What I've noticed is I do not yet have a run uploaded where we go for the Yanjin route, which is like the primary route you'd go for in the 2560. So I'll do exactly that. I'll showcase it. And I suppose it's like you can run along to my character. It's not a challenge run like the last one. And to be honest, that challenge run was too much for me as well. I lost interest very early on. And then obviously we take a look at like all the different, if it would like to open, yeah, I think, the portraits. I will probably not do her quest. I will not do her quest either since it messes a bit with the Yanyun stuff. But you can check out all the other girls or guys. Especially him. And I think that's like all I can talk about in this part zero. So let's see us again in part one.